Under a sprawling canopy of live oaks along the main street in the quaint village of Safety Harbor is Sid Entel Galleries. World-renowned fashion designer and artist Michael Balbrocht had a special relationship with this gallery and the community that surrounds it. My name is Susan Benjamin and I'm the owner of Sid Entel Galleries. Michael Volbrek is a famous fashion designer and artist. Uh, he did live in Safety Harbor for the last 30, 35 years. Michael attended Parsons School of Design, which is a prestigious design school uh, located in New York City. And from there, he was discovered by people such as Bill Blass, and they sort of took him in to work on their lines. These were the people that saw the talent that Michael had. Michael was special because he was an unusual artist and his designs were nothing like they had seen before. He was kind of this new thing in the industry. Everything he did was special. He'd touch a canvas and it would turn into this amazing painting. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that. It just like comes from within. He was just a really unique individual. Michael Volbrock's rare artistic talents brought him acknowledgement not only from the worlds of art and fashion, celebrities also appreciated his colorful and one-of-a-kind dress designs. Names would just come out all the time of the people that he, he knew and who he dressed. Oprah Winfrey, Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Joan Rivers, Mia Farrow. One day he came in and he said, Susan, will you fax this design? I said, who am I faxing this to? And he said, oh, it's to going to Janet Jackson. Uh, she needed a dress for some event she was going to. And I was like, very impressed, but you know, I, you know it, it was his normal life. From fashion to painting to collaging, Michael's creativity took many forms, showcasing his unique and original style. There's something about his work that I could just walk into a room, there'd be 500 pieces in there, and I could tell you which was a Michael Volbrick in there. He had a definite style. Realistic, but has kind of a, a pop look to it. Think of like Andy Warhol and that, he came from that era. It wasn't all super realistic, even though if you look at his faces, you'll definitely know who his characters are. He had a modern twist to everything and a classy look to his work. Though his fame was international, Michael made a home in the charming Tampa Bay community of Safety Harbor and a friend in Susan Benjamin, the owner of Sid Entel Galleries. I met Michael Volbrecht about 30 something years ago. He had come to the Safety Harbor Spa. Uh, he was doing a fashion show there and it was of his couture line that he had himself. And it was like, I felt like I was in New York City. I thought, how can this happen in Safety Harbor? This is so exciting. He loved Safety Harbor and he loved the small townness of it. He'd walk around town and they didn't know he was a famous fashion designer or a famous artist and he really liked that. He was a very humble person. Michael left a legacy here in Safety Harbor. There's this beautiful mural that was, I believe, commissioned by the city next door at the post office. And so he did a postal mural, which is Safety Harbor birds and water, and, and it's so whimsical and just reminds everyone of this is what Safety Harbor is all about. The Sid Entel Galleries is presenting a retrospective celebrating Michael's life, work, and his enduring legacy as an artist and resident of Tampa Bay. After Michael died, I thought about it a lot. He was a good friend to everyone here in the community. And I felt like I couldn't go without showing all the work that I could possibly show of his uh, to remember him because he lived in our community for over 30 something years and did a lot for our community. I actually think he would have liked us doing this because he loved showing his work. And I hopefully everyone will come and just pay their respects to Michael and the creativity that he brought to our community.